Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about the append range activity. Before going to start about the append range activity, let me explain the scenario. First of all, what is append? Appending is nothing but by definition we can see add something to the end of the return document. I will repeat again, add something to the end of the return document is nothing but append. So over here, if you see in the range activity, that is append range activity, what we are going to do, we are going to append some data table to an existing document. That is what we are going to do in this session. Now, if you see on my screen that I'm having sheet one and sheet two. So sheet one having the different data of the related to the class one, and sheet two having the data related to the class of second, second class and first class. Sheet one is first class, sheet two is second class. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to append this second class data, students data to this sheet one. Okay, I'm going to add it over here. Append is nothing but I'm having, adding some data which is already having the end of the return document. I'm going to add some data over here this entire data from here to here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add over here in the uh, in the sheet one. That is nothing but append. Append range is nothing but the range we are going to be mentioning like from which uh, row to which uh, cell to which cell that we are going to use it up. Okay, but anyhow, that what we are going to do, we are going to appending the data of sheet two to sheet one. This is how we are going to do by using UI path bots. Now, let me switch to APA Studio. Let me add a new sequence. Add sequence. I'm giving the name as append range activity of the sequence. Let me go ahead, let me create it. Now, as a first step, we know that one we are going to the activities and then we're going to drag and drop this Excel scope. Okay, so now if you see, I'm having sheet one and sheet two. This is the same thing which I'm going to use it. Now let me go ahead, let me browse it. And now if you see, I'm selecting the student marks for Excel application scope. Now by using Excel application scope, we have opened the student marks.excel. Now I'm having something in between, but before that I'm just directly going to append range. You can see over here, let me go to activities and then I'm typing append range activity that where we can find in application integration, Excel under Excel that we are having append range. But right now we're not going, there's also in workbook append range, but we are not working with that. Now we are working with the Excel. That's the reason I'm going for the under Excel append range. Let me drag and drop onto my panel. Now, before going to, uh, you know, learn about the properties of the append range, let me go ahead, let me read it, what it is saying when I'm mouse over on that. If you see, append range, appends the data from a data table to a spreadsheet, right? So by using this thing that we can know, we are going to use the data table to append the data. Okay, if the sheet does not exist, a new one is going to be creating with the sheet name of the value, changes are immediately saved. Okay, that the mean, if, uh, if I'm going to give any sheet name if that is that is not exists then it will be creating a new sheet that is what the mean of append range and the that is what it is exactly explaining over here now we will see the properties over here right if you see we are having the common property display name and data table so if you see under input we are having data table and sheet name and there is no output over here so the sheet name where where we need to append that is sheet name. Right now, if you see, we are having two sheets in the student mock.excel that I'm going to, in the sheet one, I'm going to append it. That is correct. I'm not changing this value. And data table, we require data table to uh, add some data, right? There's no other way to add the data in, by using append range. So to get this data table, what I have to do, I am going to use read range. Read range of which sheet that I will give the, uh, we know the properties of the uh, read range, right? So we are having range, sheet name, 
and the add headers, preserve format, use filters, or all these things. Okay, now what is the sheet name that I want to read it to get the data table? I'm sheet two that I'm going to use it, right? Now I'm using sheet two and double quotes and nothing but entire data that I'm going to read it from the sheet two. Okay, now the output I'm going to store it in the data table. So how can we define control K to where to set a variable that I'm saying just directly sheet to data table and just giving the name so that we can easily understand that one. Now we will see the variables. Yes, there's the sheet to data variable is there. Now let me go ahead. If you see this read range output is the input for the append range. Now the data table, what is the, output, uh, what is the input for this one? I'm going to give sheet to data table. I'm going to append this data in the, uh, in the sheet one. So that what will happen? It will be saving the data. It will uh, append the data in the sheet one by using sheet two. Nothing but both are clubbing, both are adding in the sheet one and we can find the data out there. Okay, so once the bot has been completed, we'll say a message box over here. Now I'm going to type it data appended successfully. Fully in sheet one. Okay, this is what I'm going to display in the message box. Let me explain you once again. I'm having two sheets in the Excel that is in the studentmos.excel file. I'm going to append the data by taking from the sheet two into sheet one. I'm, and the, both the data will be appear in the sheet one by using this sample example. Okay, now let me go ahead. Let me run the spot. Before that, be careful, you know, if you are open this Excel, which you are going to use it, it will give some errors. For that reason, I have closed that Excel over here. Okay, there's a lot of ways we can do that. We'll learn about that in the next session. But in the current session, please close the Excel, which you are going to use it. Nothing but if you're using the student mouse.excel, that Excel has to be closed over here. It should not be there in the task manager. Okay, now let me go ahead, let me uh, run the bot. Execution has been started. Now you can see over here, the Excel has been open. And then you can see, this is the sheet one, right? Previously, if you see up to 10 rows only that we have. And after that, you can see from dev, this is the dev, okay? This is the first class and this is the second class of data. Both have been, this second uh, from the row two all onwards is the sheet two data, you can see. You can see this data over here in the sheet two. The same data is available. It has been appended in the sheet one. Okay, now you can see the data appended successfully in the sheet one. Click on OK. Now I hope you understand how to append the data from one sheet or from one Excel to another Excel by using append range. Thank you for watching Vyapath's tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.